from the football field to the soccer pitch. Geo Plus infill fields by Hellas Construction are quickly being known as the best fields to play nearly any sport on. Because of the predictability and durability of synthetic turf and the organic pluses and properties of the 100% organic infill blend. But the most amazing aspect and often least understood is the cooling benefits that a properly maintained Geo Plus field can obtain. We are going to take you on a journey across the United States to visit fields in different climates with varied applications and hear from the operators as well as test these fields ourselves to see if they really can stand up to what they claim to be simply the best and coolest playing surface on the market today. Our journey starts deep in South Texas near Corpus Christi, home of the Flower Bluff Hornets. This field was installed about a year ago, and as you can tell, it looks absolutely amazing. Corpus Christi, Texas, with its plentiful rainfall and high humidity levels, is perfect for a Geo Plus system, which thrives in moisture content of 35 to 45 percent. Now, before we get going any further, it's important to understand just how Geo Plus cools your field. As moisture in the air is absorbed, the Geo Plus actually holds on to that moisture. As the air and temperature gets hotter, the moisture and the heat is released back into the air. This releasing causes a cooling effect called release of latent heat. The energy in the air around the infill must cool down because of the energy in the evaporation process. In much the same way, after a good workout, you're sweating and your body feels cooler, the water released from your skin actually cools your skin and the air around it. This is the same process that a Geo Plus system is going through as the temperature around it climbs. And compared to a chrome rubber field, it can be up to 40 degrees cooler. It was about, I don't know, 100 and uh, six or 107 degree heat index and we wanted to find out for sure uh, what the temperature of the field was so we had our maintenance guys come out and we measured the temperature of our field here at the high school and we went down to our grass field natural grass field at the junior high and this field is actually cooler than the natural grass field at the junior high so it gave us a huge advantage we felt like and then we went in town to a field that uh, was a rubber field and it was about 35 to 40 degrees hotter so let's put this to the test in this hand, I have a thermometer and it showed the air temperature of just about 100 degrees. In this hand, I have a spot thermometer. We can point it at the field and it gives us a reading. And this showing a temperature of about 94 degrees. Now, that was a new field in an area in the Texas Gulf Coast. Why don't we head across the country and test out a few more? The South Florida weather can be summed up pretty easily. Hot, humid, and daily thunderstorms. And the temperature of this natural grass field is typical of any field in the region. So let's find out how our Geo Plus field stacks up. Western Florida boasts having one of the very first Geo Plus fields ever installed in the United States and the first in Florida. Now, typical Florida day, it's about 93 degrees outside. Here on the field, we're showing about 100 degrees, but at the surface, this Geo Plus system is only 121 degrees. Well, for us, we wanted to have the opportunity for kids to be able to play um, all day long, even in the hottest times of the year here in South Florida. So in July, August, September, the air temperature can get to be 90, 92, 93 degrees on a regular basis, yet uh, the cooling properties of this infill bring the temperature down f not as low as it will be with real grass, but certainly 30, 40, maybe even 50 degrees cooler than black rubber, and that's significant. That means the kids can play all day long. The south and coastal waters are ideal, but what about further north? How does the much different New England climate fare for Geo Plus? We're in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and it's about 85 degrees here and a lot less humidity. So how do these conditions affect our Geo Plus system? Well, let's put this to the test. Our field right now is 99 degrees. The cooling properties of this field is very important to us. In comparing it to natural grass fields, it's much closer to natural grass than it is, say, the crumb rubber. So what happens if you're not in an area of high humidity levels and daily rain showers? Well, you simply have to water the field, but it's not as much as you might think. In fact, it's about 90% less water than that of a properly watered natural grass field. From the East Coast to the heartland of America, where there is not an ocean in sight for a thousand miles, this is an area of extreme weather changes, from freezing winters to hot summers. The University of Omaha at Nebraska, home of the Mavericks, has over 15,000 students enrolled every year. In 2011, UNO joined the Summit League, canceling their football program and starting soccer. 
In 2013, UNO decided to renovate their soccer stadium with, at the time of installation, was a FIFA two-star certified with GeoPlus installed. To say that UNO demands only the best is an understatement. Jason Mims is the men's soccer head coach. It's environmentally, it's safer. Uh, I know our guys uh, enjoy the, the speed of play on it because of uh, it stays a little bit cooler. And so for us with climates here in uh, the Midwest in the summer, that was an important factor for us, for uh, not just for our student athletes, but for youth kids that we have out here. The relatively mild summers and the extreme cold and heavy snowfall of a Midwest winter can be a challenge for any sports surface. And after a season and a half and plenty of outside use, this still looks and plays like a brand new field. Now our outside air temperature here is about 82 degrees, but our Geo Plus field is a cool 92. Well, we've been as far south as we could go on a map. We've been as far east as the Atlantic. We've been to the Northeast and now the Midwest. Now there's only one more place to go. California, here we come. Nearly due west of Nebraska and in the shadows of San Francisco, California sits Kenyatta College, which is the perfect test bed since next to the Geo Plus sits a traditional crumb rubber synthetic field. The temperatures here are typically very mild, but let me tell you, standing on this traditional crumb rubber infield, I can literally feel the heat radiating up from my feet. The outside air temperature is 90 degrees, but the temperature on the field shows 150. But here, just a few yards away from the other field, the temperature is a much cooler 114 degrees. And it doesn't have to be extreme heat to tell the difference in a field that is literally 20 yards away. The primary concern was playability in our uh, kind of little microclimate here with the temperature being as high as it was. And when you compare uh, your kind of traditional standard uh, black rubber um, artificial surface with, with, the, uh, with the cool fill and the, and the Hellas product, um, there's no comparison. The, you know, the, the temperature is much more playable um, for extended amount of times. And, and I think for us, that was kind of uh, paramount in our decision. But when extreme heat is a major safety factor and water is scarce, how does GeoPlus respond? Southern California could prove to be the toughest environment for this product. Our next stop is due south to Paris, California, just outside of LA. It's 2 p.m. in the middle of July here in Southern California, and the temperature is showing about 100 degrees. And as most people know, Southern California is going through an extreme drought, which makes natural fields like this anything but green and anything but cool. This field is 146 degrees. The outside air temperature here on this Geo Plus field is about 100 degrees still. Our field temperature is 129. And remember, this field can be used year round with heavy use and 90% less water than a traditional field and still remain green. We have visited the nation's warmest areas, all with completely different and unique climates, putting Geo Plus to the test. From east to west and north to south, Geo Plus cools the heat in every region. Geo Plus by Hellos Construction is not only environmentally friendly, it's also proven to be the coolest solution, no matter the application or the climate.